Race number one, Flying Thousand Class 3, and we have got Equaletta Blitz aiming for the hat-trick at the top of the book. Seizing the moments on the class drop, he comes back from Class 2 Company for his first up assignment. Ping High Galaxy's been back to the trials. Party Warrior cheek pieces off, he's had the two trials. Now, Heroic Master was a fluctuate for Richard and Michael Friedman, one over the 1,000 at Gosford and the 1,200 at Wyong. Down the bottom of both Super Axiom and Awesome Treasure just the field of seven. And with Super Axiom in the race, Tom, it's probably not too hard to guess who's going to be in front on the speed map. Yep, he'll be there. That's where he likes to go, but it's his uh, intestinal fortitude at the end if he's got uh, much of that left. Uh, Super Axiom, which uh, most times he doesn't. Ping High Galaxy was pretty poor last time out to Paul, but he has gone back to the trials, and he just beat home the unbeaten Flying Ace in a, a barrier trial down the straight. So can we expect an improved performance from him, I wonder? Well, look, history doesn't show that as far as the um, second up mm. record is concerned. He's 5 Zip second up, six zip first up. So he looks like he uh, needs a couple of runs normally. But look, he's got plenty of pace. Uh, he might just make it a bit harder for Super Axiom early. Heroic Master, the first starter, he's been a slow away in a touch of his trolls. And his race in Australia I watched as well, he was a slow away a touch as well. So I think with all this uh, good speed in the race, he should get a nice enough run in the small field. All right, so that's how the boys see the speed map for race number one. One horse which is in grand form at the back end of last season is equal at a blitz. He was piloted by Lyle Hewitson, who will again be his rider on Wednesday night. Lyle Equalita Blitz could get your Wednesday night off to a very good start. Comes into the race in excellent form, having won his last couple. Yeah, I, I really hope so. Um, he, he obviously found his way towards the end of last season and got a lot of confidence from those wins. And um, from what I felt back at home, he's, he's really continued that, that rich vein of form. Um, he's, doing, he's doing very well and I'm um, looking forward to being aboard him again. Talk me through his trial because that was very impressive. I mean, was it a case of him being very impressive or was it a case of perhaps, you know, the others not showing as much? What was your feel on it? Um, well, look, I mean, obviously he is um, upper class to most of those that he took, in, took on in his trial and he, he's very quick. And the first part of the trial, the first furlong was, was pretty slow and then he got on the bridle and um, sort of showed his speed. So it probably did flatter him, but I can tell you from on top, um, it felt good too. And um, that's, that's what I'll re reiterate is that he's, he's just maintained that form coming into the season and uh, couldn't be happier in terms of his preparation uh, for a first up run. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. I don't want to say it's a, a lifeline as such, but um, the handicapper has given him a, a distinct chance because he's got a mark of 81, which puts him into to class two. But this is a, a 60 to, to 85 rated race. Career high mark here in Hong Kong now. What's your take on all of that when you sort of boil it down? Yeah, it's um, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, I think that's the, the biggest negative going into this race is he's got a shoulder 135. He's not the biggest horse, uh, although he's athletic and strong. Um, it's, it's a lot of weight to carry around. Um, but I suppose if you're going to carry it, it'll be over, over five furlongs, so that's, that's good enough. But of a light weight, when he has to run in class two, um, that could be to his benefit as well. So, um, yeah, the horse is in good form and um, hope he can just offset those negatives. With a couple of confirmed front runners, the likes of Ping High Galaxy and, and Super Axiom, who you actually beat last time, does that give you a lovely toe into the race? Yeah, um, he's versatile. I think he's a, a horse that's more about um, how he how he's enjoying his trip um, through, throughout the run. Um, he just sort of doesn't want to be um, forced or, or broken his stride. So with a bit of speed, it just normally means with a good tempo, you can have a good rhythm. And uh, if we get that from, from our, our draw into a good position, um, all things should run smoothly. There he is, Lyle Hewitson, Tom, who rides equal at a blitz. That trial was very good. Yeah, it was good. He won it by uh, just over four lengths in the end, uh, the barrier trial there. Raced uh, clear. Just wonder about him, though, fresh and with that uh, big weight pull. He's got him 18 rating points for those two wins. Got to carry 135. He's failed fresh up twice. So there's a couple of negatives there as well. Look, the trial was very good, though, so you can't go past it. But would you take 2.1 about that? No. OK, no. Super Axiom, well, he's probably going to leave the home, Paul. All of his three wins have been over the 1,000, but all down the straight. And they have, haven't they? So that's where his wins have been. Look, he comes in with a light weight. He's only going to carry, well, he's got 117 with a little claim. It's the last 50 metres, as we know, 100 metres uh, for him. He'll be in front, there's no question. It's just whether he can keep going. I'm not so sure in this field. I think it's a nice little field. 99% speed, 1% stamina, so um, I don't think he's going to figure here.
He would have liked this trial. 800 metres would have been his go, uh, Tom. He was very ordinary first up, Ping High Galaxy, but has bounced back since in this trial. He was 12 to 1 first up, and it uh, trialled OK leading into with that, and he travelled really well in this uh, barrier trial. Second up record obviously has to be a concern. Uh, Flying Ace was the horse to his outside there in the, the gold and black uh, colours, but um, did nothing fresh. But look, maybe go again off the trial, but second up. Yeah, it's a bit, bit hard. Five zip, second up as well. So he normally does take a couple of runs. Right, that's the grey Ping High Galaxy. Now, heroic master here, Paul. You're keen on him off the back of uh, the trials that he has had. He's had four. This is the most recent of them. Yeah, look, he's super keen too. He could have won this trial by four lengths if he wanted to. You can see he wants to go a lot quicker, but they're not moving on him. He seems to handle Happy Valley. He's had two from two in Australia. Look, he comes in a really nice weight as well. I think the handicappers have been lenient with him, and I think he can win fresh up. Yeah, I guess you could say he's come off uh, performances in Australia. You could maybe say those two tracks, Gosford and Wyong, are sort of similar to uh, Happy Valley and Turning Natures, um, but he looked good in that trial, I thought, too. Mm. He sure did, and Party Warrior Tom, a horse that you've been with plenty of time throughout his career, pushed along in this trial. He was, and uh, he made uh, good enough ground later, thought, uh, last uh, time out uh, behind Equiletta Blitz. He's been behind Equiletta Blitz's last uh, two. You can see him, he was pushed there, but he did stay on late and respond quite nicely. Uh, fresh Paul, he's had two second placings. Yeah, he just got beaten, didn't he, on debut, if you remember rightly. He came through and, and uh, just uh, failed on that occasion. So he does he does run well. And, uh, look, I'll put him in on a minor line. Um, cheek pieces will come off him. Vincent had a great night at the Valley last Wednesday night. Paul, what about his rides this week? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like the same sort of book this time, does he? I thought Round the Earth needs to improve. Amigo's Giggle's a chance, but still a maiden. Loyal Ambition's a chance as well. Uh, Star Wu's Aurora and Zashin's had plenty of chances there. Look, his best ones is probably his last couple with a gang of brothers ran really well the last uh, start and Yellowfin's look good at the trials. Airborne at the moment, uh, Vincent, what, uh, nine wins from only 54 rides. Mm, he's having a great start to the season. Right, that's a breakdown of race number one. What are the tips for race one, Paul? Going to go with uh, Heroic Master. I just think this horse can win fresh up. He's looked good. He's uh, get 17 pounds off for Equiletta Blitz as well, who's obviously trialled well. Awesome treasure. Another one who's had that run and then Party Warrior. But I really like the five in this. Five, one, seven and four. Yeah, we've gone with the, the five as well. That is Heroic Master off that uh, good trial at uh, Happy Valley. His uh, two race day performances over in Australia prior to arriving were pretty good. Party Warrior makes it in uh, number four. Uh, he goes well fresh. Equilibrium Blitz obviously a concern with the weight and uh, the fresh up record. And also Ping High Galaxy. Good trial, but uh, second up, uh, he's done zilch in his career so far. Zach Purton rides from barrier number one. So five, four, one and three.